Let's... So do we all know what Nintendo life is? <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo life is a Nintendo-based news website. And one time, a while ago, they got a, a bot, an AI, to read Nintendo news and write its own handlines. Okay, jeez, I am... So, how about, like, how about I just, like, start reading through these? That could be fun. Okay, okay, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Slow the horses down. Wait, can I, can I do an intro before we get going? <laughs> Fine, do your own intro then. Do it, fine. Do I it. do need an intro, okay. okay. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Come to see the logo for the remastered game of Nintendo's Cube. Oh boy. The concept of remakes has always been a tad bit controversial, especially in video games. While a certain number of gamers get to appreciate how new the experience can be, there's always the opposition that is quickly filling up the comment section. The developers themselves have been working hard on remaking various video games. However, some gamers are always against them, believing they will ruin the original experience. All right. That doesn't have a whole lot to do with the Nintendo's cube, I'll be honest. So this is the AI? This is the AI saying this. This is the stuff that the AI has written, yes. Maybe maybe it's, I mean, that, I mean, it's applying kind of the truth, really. It's, yeah, it's applying the video games to the concept of what was it? Come to see the logo for the remastered games of Nintendo. The remastered games. Okay. The logo. That, that, so it's the logo we're coming to see today. Yes. Yeah, that, that just has nothing to do with the with, with, with the article. Maybe they didn't care about the logo and just went straight to the remastered games. Oh well, let's uh, move on to next. Next! Breaking! The Switch has been problematic <laughs> and some people have discovered flooding. What? Uh, since its March launch, the Nintendo Switch has sold out. If you went to Best Buy, GameStop, or Walmart and saw it still listed as in stock and thought, hey, I could get one. Good news, you can. <laughs> but if you can't, here's why. Nintendo says it's trying to prevent confusion in some s and some shortages by limiting its production. It's not entirely, blah, 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 entirely clear, however, how much stock it has left. And who can get it, if anyone can? Nintendo isn't also isn't selling the system itself in the US, so you also need a friend with one of those in order to snag one. What? You need a friend with one of those in order to snag one. AI, what are you talking about? No, I think what the AI is saying, you gotta rob from another person to get it, okay? Oh, like, they're not selling it in the US, you gotta find, like, someone, like, a Canadian, go over to them and go, like, hey, you wanna be friends? You go, like, sure, and then you rob their Switch in the middle of the night. And you steal their Switch. You what? just, like, mug them. <laughs> yeah. This article is telling people to go out, leave the country, yeah. steal Switches, and come back. But only if you can't find them at Best Buy, GameStop, or Walmart. <laughs> no, 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 it's at- wait, where was the line? The system itself is not in the US. Oh, yeah, it's, true. it's not selling in the U.S. They just straight up said, "No, we're not oh, yeah, selling to these U the United States. We're not distributing here." <laughs> What's this have to do with flooding? Um, must be the amount of uh, robberies that flooded. I don't know. The lot of robberies. Oh, That's, yeah. It's a metaphor. I see. Mm, it's yes. a metaphor. It's a metaphor. The, gotten, the AI has gotten metaphorical, guys. I think they're becoming sentient. <laughs> What is this picture, by the way? Yeah, this is this is a this is an AI created picture. What am I what looking at? <laughs> it's like water in a Mario level, except with like a yeah. You you a think that's a Mario water? level? Then you look over at like whatever the health bar is here, and then you see like this weird eye creature what? looking at you. It's like, yeah. like something from a creepy pasta. <clears throat> oh my God! Do you see this picture? Wait before. <laughs> Yeah, I see the picture, all right. It looks like someone put dropped acid onto like a, a piece of paper. What is it? Like a, a check, and then there's like a letter below it. Yeah. What? A okay. Letter. I'll read this one. All right. <laughs> Pokemon Zelda. <laughs> Rogue emails will probably be an unexpected. Sorry. What? <laughs> Pokemon Zelda. Rogue emails. What a game title. It'll probably be an unexpected <laughs> installment in the Nintendo 64. Yeah, it's unexpected, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, didn't see that coming. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It's no secret that Nintendo is still hard at work creating a smaller Nintendo 64, complete with the functional functionality of both the original and Super NES Classic. Although rumors of a mini N64 have been circulating for a long time, Nintendo accurately actually announced accurately actually announced the system in late 2016. And if Nintendo sticks to its timeline, it's almost certain that it will hit shelves around the holiday season. Late 2016. We've been waiting here for six extra years. What the hell? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is it talking about the console or the game? Uh, I mean, there's like the, the 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 mini Super Nintendo, like the mini NES. Those were actual things that Nintendo made. The They're mini like, N64 the, was that a thing? And the mini N64 was not a thing. <laughs> but according to the AI, it always has been a thing ever since 2016. holiday 2016. It's only for the richest. So, I mean, we gotta trust the AI that became sentient last article, right? Man, what if we're looking into a different timeline entirely? <laughs> ah. Yeah, it would make sense, see. Pokemon Zelda. Let's Google. When, when did the Super Nintendo Mini come out? 2017. Oh, okay, so the, the N64 Mini came out before the Super Nintendo Mini. I get it. Yeah, I get it, sure. <laughs> I mean, too bad we don't get to hear anything about... Pokemon Zelda rogue emails in this article. Yep, uh, shit. I want to. I want to play that game. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that just Smash though? Oh jeez, what am I looking at? What am I looking at for this next article? News. News. This, okay. this Pokemon is being revived for your tea. Pokemon Company Japan announced today that Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Mewtwo Generation <laughs> One will be released. <laughs> And Mewtwo Generation 1 yep. will be released as upcoming what? there are visionary items that can be discovered in, po what in is Ultra there Sun oh, and I gotta Ultra search Moon. up what this word means. I don't actually know what there is. Therapitionary. Therapitionary. We forced- oh my god, it's a fake word. It created a me. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> meaning? This follows the release of Generation 1 as an innovation bonus in Sun and Moon. Dude, this it made an imaginary called. word. That word not, doesn't exist. <laughs> wow, neither does this article. <laughs> this month, players will have a chance to try all eight generations of Pokemon available in one game. Whoa, that's an expensive game. Wow. Yeah, and it's also going to destroy any and all space you have remaining on whatever you're using to play it. Yeah, that's true. Oh man, count, uh, I'll be honest, I want to play Pokemon Mewtwo Generation 1. Yeah, we can get some fan artists to, to draw box art of that. Oh my god. Yeah. Or I'll, I'll do it myself right now, watch. Oh, start recording. Well, Alright, I'm recording now in second. terrible frame rate. Give me a half second. Oh, okay. Alright, don't worry, I, I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna make this, this is gonna be an epic box art. Stay tuned, yo. Copy and plop this here into paint. Uh, oh, it has the watermark across it. Uh, well, ain't that a shame? Right. I'm working. I still lock my bedroom door. You know that's how paranoid I am. Okay. Imagine being paranoid. Couldn't be me. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna find Mewtwo. Oh, oh, Mewtwo is too big. Alright, hold on, I will... I'm gonna make this work. Alright, I'm just gonna grab a random picture. Right, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just draw Mewtwo, you know what? You know what? I'm drawing Mewtwo. It's okay, this is gonna, this is gonna be an epic drawing when it's done. I think y'all will love it. Oh, oh wait, dude, just... <laughs> I don't need... Uh, wait, how do I... Oh, gee, that is terrifying. What how do I, I carve done? this out? Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, it's gonna be way better than mine. <laughs> what is that awesome ass back? Whoa! <laughs> found like, Google images. Someone help. Don't ask why his arm is so low on his body. Jeez. His eye is staring into my soul. I. You just he made. Two eyes now. You just made your thumbnail for this. <laughs> for the oh, video. good. Good. <laughs> I need to make Sorry. my own. Uh, it, version of this. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. 
New review, Shin Megami Tensei 5 is a bit of rubbish. What? Shin? I've Shin never Megami heard of this. That, that, that's a, I don't know, it's like an RPG game or something, I don't know. Oh, okay. But what? it's a okay. bit rubbish. Look at the video. L no, look at the picture. That's like a face looking at hieroglyphics. Except the face isn't looking at the hieroglyphics, it's looking at the camera. And the hieroglyphics are on like, a wall. Yeah, and also there's a giant ash club, or like ash scrape across the person's face. Oh, and that too, yeah. yeah. Like a shadow, I don't know. Like, it's it's creepy. This is creepy. <laughs> yeah. The game is great. The problem is the endless streams of generic references. The prolific RPG <laughs> designer Hideki Kamiya uh, is has a penchant for making Shin Megami Tensei games that feature characters the world believes are angels. You know, demons that have a pact with heaven. What? <laughs> Godlike deeds and become divine. What? Uh, the series also contains fantastic games that feel like unique experiences and that are truly something to get lost in. <laughs> Yeah, let's... Started the interview. It's pretty generic, and it, it references a lot of generic things in RPGs. Yeah. But it also has unique experiences. <laughs> it does. I need to go. Uh, I'll see you later. Oh, you're heading off? Yeah. Well, uh, it's just two of us now. Yes. Oh, well, we can keep going. We shall press on. Right. Are you playing my Nintendo? We can't be bothered. <laughs> and then at the picture we have a squirrel or something that looks like it's at a restaurant checkout. That's my guess. The grocery store's checkout, so that's what it's called. Is there a baby under the counter? Or what is that? I might be a baby under the counter. Yeah, it's like Are you buttons playing... under the counter. I just love the title. Are you playing my Nintendo? <laughs> We can't be my bothered. What even is my Nintendo? I know, I know my Nintendo is like a thing that exists. Good all. My Nintendo. Yeah, oh my, yeah, it's just like the thing you make an account for. It's like your personal account for Nintendo. That That's what my Nintendo is. Or is it just, hey, are you, did you steal my Nintendo and are you now playing it? <laughs> yeah, I know you can't get them in America, but why did you have to steal it? Yeah, the hell. <laughs> Don't you hate it when games with cheaters in them automatically jump to a bad review score because of it? That's what happened with Nintendo's latest game, which officially <laughs> released in the US on Friday, October 29th. Wait, what? How the game, however, is only in Japan, where it's called Donkey Kong, Co Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. That's a real game. What? Now, Excuse what happened you? <laughs> Friday, October 29th. Okay, it says uh, it was released in the U.S. on Friday, October 29th. The game, however, is only in Japan. Uh, so is it released in Japan or in, in America? It doesn't even say a year to that. It just says Friday, October 29th. I don't know. hate when games with cheaters in them automatically jump to a bad review because there's cheaters in it. Yeah, man, I hate playing games with cheaters. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I mean, like... If you're playing a game that's like the main character is somebody who cheats in a video game, and by the end they learn the lesson of don't cheat. <laughs> yeah, okay, suddenly that game has a bad review because it's about a cheater. I, I mean, like, I get it. I hate when that happens, yeah. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm at a loss thinking about this. Well, uh, Banjo 3 on Switch is called World of the Dragon Dracula. When did uh, Banjo become a squirrel? Which, a, with giant eyes that stare into your soul. A strip. <laughs> so this is the story of Banjo 3E. Subtitle World of the Dragon Dracula. It's a post-apocalyptic <laughs> role-playing game about about a role place. Playing? A role-playing game, not a platformer anymore. Nope. It feels strange saying that saying something like this, but for the few hours I played it, the time passed so quickly and my vision was so hazy and confused <laughs> that it was hard to remember any of the game's mon mon monotonies. Fortunately, I don't mind being taken on a ride that mostly happened in my imagination rather than the game, so I wasn't too disappointed. Uh, so now I have to make a decision. I want to play the game again so I'm not spoiling anything for those who want to play it, but I also want to play World of Goo. What is World of Goo? Who is this reporter? Why aren't they fired? 
No, like literally halfway through the article, they go, they start going like, but I also want to play World of Goo. <laughs> hey, he's just like, you know, I, I would recommend this game for this for people, but I want to play a different game right now, so I just won't. But I just care so little about my job and being paid that I'm going to talk about another game. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okay, I know what World of Goo is. I, I I think I've seen some YouTubers play it. So, the game made your head go hazy. See, you were hazy and confused. So you didn't like it. You you found yourself bored, essentially. No, okay, so the time passed so that... quickly. It was enjoyable. Yeah. My vision tickled. starts to go hazy and confused. Yeah. Dehydration. Oh, that, that could be it, yeah. But, <laughs> but he didn't he didn't find it. So he'd rather just go tripping than play the game. So he's not disappointed. I'm pretty sure this person was being taken to a cult. This person should shouldn't work for a game reviewing website. I don't even know what to expect when I go into it. The only thing that they give me is it's a post apocalyptic role playing game. The end. Yeah, that's it. That's what the game is. And then at the end of it, I want to go play a different game. <laughs> Tingle's new game is called Tingle's Great Greatest Adventures in Space Murders. Space Murders? Oh, I mean, that's not out of character for Tingle, but okay. Oh boy, looks like there's a long article for this one. Let's go. Alright, so according to this press release, a Ooh. new twist is revealed about Tingle's greatest stories in space, which allows us to recreate the tale of how the world ended up under the hands of giant monsters whose main goal is to destroy humans or wannabe heroes. Players must choose between a combination of a villainous character, a space pirate, and a mysterious adventurer to fight these monsters for their lives, each with their own personal story about their place in the galaxy. Uh, to further complicate matters, at this point, the game is already over, and Tingle is not on the list due to copyright infringement. <laughs> the company also released a special DVD with a commentary track by Tingle himself. Whoa! What? So now he's not in the around. game because of copyright, but you can voice actual... the voice actor came yeah. along. <laughs> so he's a real person. Whoa! Hold on. Um, you, which you can pre-order on Amazon. Uh, T Tingle's Greatest Adventures in Space, M Murders 2, The Legend Continues, will launch for PS4, Xbox One, Windows 8.1, and Nintendo Switch on October 12, 2014. What? And will launch separately in North America on the October 26, 2017. Don't get me wrong, the PS4 wasn't around on 2014, was it? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think the Switch was either. None of these cons- I don't even think Xbox One. Xbox One? No, probably not. Windows 8, 8 didn't even Windows exist. 8, I don't Windows 8.1 Okay, so Windows 8.1 okay. was, was out. <laughs> okay, the PS4 was out, but Jesus, it's been out that long. We're searching up all the consoles. Okay, Xbox One was out, and okay, yeah, Switch is the only one that. <laughs> well, there we go. That is that is the story of. Tingle's new game called Tingle's Greatest Adventures it, in Space Murders. They did predict the Switch coming out. They went like, yeah, oh. we know you guys don't know what this console is, but it will come out one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, like, you, you think, the, the rumors have called it the NX, because that's the internal development name, the NX. Well, no, Nintendo Switch, you'll have to take our word for it. You'll find out in 2016 or something. <laughs> yeah, two years down the line, nothing to worry about. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So recently released you can pre-order on Amazon. Wait, what? That, that's just a contradictory right there in and of itself. Recently released pre-order copyright infringement Tangle himself. What is going on? <laughs> AI, what is happening with you? What, what you can't forget about, about? The, the first part. To destroy humans or wannabe heroes. <laughs> <laughs> All humans are wannabe heroes, that's just what he believes them to be. Yep. You must choose between a combination of a villainous character, a space pirate, and a mysterious adventurer to fight these monsters for their lives. And Wait, for their lives? lives? Lives. So you're gonna for fight these monsters lives. for their lives. For the monsters' lives. 
fight the monsters for their life. I mean, I, I guess, yeah, that, that makes sense. Are they gonna save the monsters from themselves? Is this what they're doing? Maybe. So, like, are we, like, murdering undead to bring back live monsters? Is that how it works? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a stretch? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> It might be, it might, that might work, I don't, I'm not sure though. Wait a second! Yo, holy shit, do you see how big this quote is? <laughs> the quote is the whole paragraph! What? Oh, oh it, is, it is all just Oh, that's true. Who's quoting? Who are they quoting from? <laughs> what press release was this? I like whoever they're quoting for. It's like from another news outlet or something. <laughs> is this illegal? Should they be in jail for this? <laughs> it starts off with a quote that says, according to a priest press release, then there's a quote within that quote that says the new twist on Tingle's greatest adventures in space, and then it ends both. It, it, it ends. Wait, dude! It, it straight up tells you I'm stealing. I'm stealing this from another news outlet. It says according yeah. to the to this press release oh to this press release wait what you're quoting yourself wait <laughs> oh wow that's true it is it is it is quoting itself that can't be allowed right no it's just like a uh, boss comes over to you while you're working in the cubicle goes like hey uh did you get this article up and running yet uh no i'll, I'll get straight to it <laughs> sees that another division is doing an article similar to this one <laughs> Uh, pardon me, I was gonna copy paste your work uh, and steal your steal your USB drive and stick it in my own computer. Yep. Goddamn AI <laughs> slacker. <laughs> AI slacker in the AI department, eh? Although if we get anything from this picture, it looks like it's just like yeah, it's just a space tingle with like weird little tingle colonies or whatever. No, okay. Uh, you know what I think this is? You see how this there's like a red sleeve with a white collar? I think that's a green hand. That giant thing is a green hand. Green hand? I, I read it as like a big Yu-Gi-Oh deck holder thing that he has on his wrist. <laughs> like, I'm thinking this I'm uh, thinking this image is a lot darker than you think. I'm thinking every green color like that is just a giant hand. Well, I mean like, based off of Tingle's design. Yeah, but Tingle. the issue is I don't see him anywhere in this picture. I mean, like, maybe in the top right? Like, it's kind of like, kinda. His face is upside down, but like, kinda. In, like a spacesuit. <laughs> no, dude, I feel like that's just the face. That's just. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think we got everything we need from this picture. <laughs> There's nothing yeah. else. <laughs> there's nothing else to look at here. I mean, there's like, ooh, look. They look like they're on a moon or something. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like a bunch of giant hands are reaching out to... Hands are reaching out of the ground. Are those the monsters? Are those well, monsters it does say the monsters are... are giant hands. Hands of wait. giant monsters. Wait a, wait a, what? There, there's, there's... What if my, my undead theory? Like, they're coming out of the ground. They're like zombies. Coming Which out of the ground. allows us to recreate the tale of how the world ended up under the hands... Giant monsters whose main goal is to destroy humans. Hands of the giant monsters. They are they are literally hands. They are all hands. I think it's just so maybe that one of them is a spaceship, I don't know. Maybe it's but like a Cthulhu thing. thing. Like there's a giant creature within the world that just has a bunch of giant hands that reaches out of the surface and grabs people. Are they like possessed? The hands? And then to fight. Yeah, they're like the hands of a giant monster, and they're like, ah, we gotta kill you, and then you fight them, like, no, you shall not kill me, I will take away your possession, and then they're like, oh, cool, we're not possessed yeah. anymore. I'll yeah, actually, you. maybe the giant monster in the center of the world is being corrupted. Uh, and we're just freeing, freeing the hands of the monster. Yeah, and then they'll start fighting each other. It's giant hand versus giant hand combat. Mm -hmm. Like Smash Bros, actually. <laughs> yes, the Master Hand. And master the final Hand boss. versus Master Hand. The final the final boss is just Master Hand. <laughs> straight out, straight out of Smash Bros. Yeah, w wasn't there a stronger like Chaos Hand or something? Uh, uh, crazy Hand, yeah. yeah crazy. The the final boss is Master Hand, but then the second phase of the final boss is Crazy Hand. <laughs> Not stealing any of this at all. Nintendo, don't sue us. <laughs> 
Uh, no, of course they're not master hand and crazy hand. They are um, leader hand and a wacky hand. There we go. Oh, see, original creation, don't sue. <laughs> well, you know what? Lovecraft, I don't think Lovecraft or Cthulhu is copyrighted anymore, so what you could oh, yeah, do yeah. is you could search up <laughs> a Cthulhu <laughs> creature with many arms and hands and giant. I really like the Lovecraftian idea of this. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We're finding the hidden lore hidden by this AI article writer. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a ELA class or something in school just analyzing a picture. So, uh, do you feel like you've learned anything new about Nintendo games? Well, if I'm being honest, I feel like whoever created these news articles, like, um... They predicted a lot of things that were coming in the future. Oh, yeah. Like the Switch was predicted yeah, to they, come they, out. They predicted the Switch back in like 2014 or something. Yeah. yeah, and they also predicted that the mass robbings of U.S. citizens against anyone that has a Switch. Mm -hmm. it's, you know? it's a real flood of them, if you know what I'm saying. And also, they can't be bothered to play with my Nintendo. So, I mean, like, after they after this, this article writer stole my Nintendo, they just can't be bothered to play it. And even when they no no when they tried playing Banjo 3E on the Switch they just they, they just they just couldn't couldn't get into it they would rather sit back and daydream. Yeah, they they just kind of sat there for hours and hours on end, starting to die of dehydration. <laughs> well, yeah, you want to know what I learned about them? What? They should be fired. 